How to stop and prevent a nosebleed. The nose has a lot of small blood vessels inside it that can bleed if a person's nose gets dried out, if they engage in frequent picking or blowing, or if they take a hit to the nose. Most of the time, a single nosebleed isn't cause for concern. However, if your nose continues to bleed after an injury, you should seek medical attention. If you or your little one does get a nosebleed, here are some ways to stop it, plus some tips for prevention. How to stop a nosebleed. If you do get a nosebleed, here are five quick steps you can follow to minimize and stop the bleeding. 1. Sit upright and lean forward. It's tempting to lean back when you have a nosebleed to keep the blood from dripping down your face. However, leaning slightly forward is the better choice. This prevents the blood from going down your throat, which could lead to choking or vomiting. Focus on breathing through your mouth instead of your nose and try to remain calm. 2. Resist the urge to pack your nose. Some people will stick cotton pads, tissues, or even tampons up the nose in an attempt to stop bleeding. This actually can worsen bleeding because it irritates the vessels further and doesn't provide enough pressure to stop bleeding. Instead, use a tissue or damp washcloth to catch blood as it comes out of your nose. 3. Spray a decongestant in your nose. Decongestant sprays, such as Afrin, contain medications that tighten blood vessels in the nose. This not only can relieve inflammation and congestion, it can also slow or stop bleeding. Applying three sprays to your affected nostril can help. 4. Pinch your nose. Pinching the soft, fleshy part of your nose below the nasal bones for about 10 minutes can help to compress blood vessels and stop bleeding. Don't let up on the pressure for these 10 minutes, otherwise, the bleeding could restart and you'll have to start over. 5. Repeat steps for up to 15 minutes. If your nosebleed doesn't stop after 10 minutes of pressure, try reapplying pressure for 10 more minutes. Sometimes, you can place a decongestant soaked cotton ball into the affected nostril and compress the nostril for 10 minutes to see if the bleeding stops. If you can't get the bleeding to stop after 30 minutes of effort or you're bleeding a significant amount, seek emergency medical treatment. What to do after a nosebleed? Once you've gotten the bleeding to subside, there are still some after care tips to prevent a nosebleed from happening again. 1. Don't pick your nose. Frequent nose picking can irritate the nasal membranes. Since you've just had a nosebleed, picking your nose again makes it much more likely that you'll have another one. 2. Don't blow your nose. It's tempting to blow your nose to get out the dried remnants of your nosebleed. Resist the urge. Blowing your nose within 24 hours after the last nosebleed makes another one much more likely. When you do start to blow your nose again, do so in a gentle fashion. 3. Don't bend down. Bending down, lifting heavy objects, or performing other activities that cause you to strain can trigger a nosebleed. Try to keep your activities light in the 24 to 48 hours after the nosebleed. 4. Use an ice pack. Applying a cloth covered ice pack to your nose can help to tighten blood vessels. It can also relieve inflammation if you've experienced an injury. Don't leave the ice pack on for more than 10 minutes at a time to avoid injuring your skin. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. You can consult me for online, chat, audio, video consultation. Contacts will be in the description for the video. Take care. Have a good one.